This is the most lavish way to drink. Millions worth of fine wine was poured into an inflatable pool. Then Jacob slowly lounged inside. Salt was sprinkled all around him, with a puff of smoke and a sip of wine. Life seemed worry-free. But why was Jacob penniless, living this high life? Simply because he was the last man on earth. In 2021, a virus outbreak wiped everyone out. Only Jacob survived. So, lonely Jacob traveled the world in a bus. He never saw another soul. Whenever tired, he'd break into mansions and make himself at home. After using thousands worth wine as mouthwash, he started decorating homes with museum treasures, dinosaur fossils as dining table centerpieces, billion dollar artworks covering the walls, Cinderella slipper, ancient artifacts, he had it all. Unbelievably, even the bathrooms were adorned with masterpieces. His life in one word? Extravagant. Still, he found time for bowling outdoors. If that got boring, he'd use fish tanks as targets and cars as pins. But that's not the end. The wildness escalated. Jacob sent cars tumbling down hills. But every evening, sleep eluded him. Lonely Jacob deeply missed his family. Earlier days weren't as extravagant, but they were happy. Now, his nights were just emptiness. He yelled at the heavens. After all this time, send me a woman. So, the next day, he went to a store and grabbed every movie available. Five months later, the once pristine mansion was a junkyard. Jacob's sanity was dwindling. He'd get weird urges just looking at movie cover models. Eventually, loneliness consumed him. He decided to end it by crashing into a boulder. But just as he was about to, he spotted distant smoke. Signs of life. He rushed there and, sure enough, saw traces of human activity. He found a floating shirt, took a deep breath of it, and passed out. When he woke, a beautiful woman stood before him. It seemed too dreamlike, but the woman didn't seem to hear him and kept giving him CPR. Turns out, it was just a dream. She was just grossed out by him and told him to put down the bra. Had it not been for repopulating Earth, Jacob would have been done for. They introduced themselves, last man and woman on Earth. Together, they returned to the city. Jacob nearly went crazy with Mary's insistence on following traffic rules. She wanted him back on track. Whereas Jacob used to drive through stores, Mary's ways were hard for the independent Jacob. One day, he left her behind, but she returned the next day, cleaning his home. Her goal? To repopulate the earth. But Jacob had a cheeky retort. I wouldn't sleep with you even if you were the last woman on earth. Mary, with a sense of responsibility, returned the next day, eating a tomato. Jacob was drooling. He hadn't seen fresh fruit in two years. Though prideful, he still snuck into the garden at night. Mary caught him the next day, tomato seeds in his beard. Over time, Mary started adopting Jacob's carefree ways, and he began warming up to her. One candle at dinner later, they decided to have children. Jacob wanted to take a shower first, but Mary had a condition, not unless we're married. For the world's sake, Jacob begrudgingly married her. But just after the wedding, a car crashed nearby. Out stepped a gorgeous woman. Since they were the only two left in the world, Jacob had to marry Mary to save humanity. But right after they got married, Jacob met a beautiful woman. This made Jacob both happy and sad. What surprised him even more was that Lisa's views were just like his. This made Jacob even more determined to do everything he could to win Lisa over. After meeting Lisa, Jacob started cleaning himself up, even shaving off his messy beard. Jacob thought he looked really cool, but both ladies felt that his chin looked too pointy without the beard. This made Jacob super embarrassed. Over dinner, Lisa and Jacob chatted away, completely ignoring Mary at their side. After dinner, Jacob even turned down Mary's request to have kids. The next day, Jacob waited for Lisa to show up, and tried to impress her like crazy. He even gave Lisa a mini car as a gift. Mary, finding out, said angrily, you have time to buy a car, but no time to fix our front door? So, to appear as a good husband in front of Lisa, Jacob reluctantly fixed the door for Mary. Then, Lisa invited Jacob over to her place that night. Given the chance, Jacob didn't tell Mary and went to Lisa secretly. With mischief in mind, Jacob kept pouring drinks for Lisa. Drunk, Lisa started opening up about her loneliness, saying she really longed for the embrace of a man. Thinking this was his chance, Jacob told Lisa to wait for a moment. He decided to go home and break up with Mary right away. But when he got home, he saw a wreath Mary made with a drawing of their wedding. This stopped Jacob from saying what he had on his mind. Even if they were the last three on earth, and Jacob was a free spirit, he respected marriage. Perhaps that responsibility is what separates humans from animals.